Today on the channel, from the Star Wars Power of the Jedi line, we've got a Gungan warrior and Jar Jar Binks. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxings in 2021 and beyond. The Guinness Book of World people are following along closely at these videos, uh, wanting to put me in the Guinness Book of World Records, of course, I'm sure at this point. But today we're doing Power of the Jedi again, and we've got a Gungan warrior, and we got Jar Jar Binks, one of our favorites, or least favorite. Uh, but remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So it's the Gungan Village, the Gungan Warriors today. And you got to have some of these guys. I like to get the regular old warriors in here. You got the Captain Tarples, which we've unboxed before. We've unboxed some of the vehicles and some of the animals they have. We've unboxed Jar Jar, which I'm hoping some of these Jar Jars I can smoke in mirrors in a display. Because you need a lot of Gungan warriors. As much as I hate the Gungans, I just hate the Gungan people. I'm just uh, very, very against their people and what they're trying to do. I just, oh, they just ruined the Phantom Menace for me, to be honest. I just don't like anything about the Gungans and Jar Jar Binks. It's just, I don't know, there's people of a certain age that maybe like Jar Jar that were little kids. But me being in high school, man, it just deflated me. And I do hear a lot of people compare it to the Ewoks. A lot of people that maybe were in high school when Return of the Jedi came out didn't like the Ewoks, which I can't fathom. I can't fathom it because we all love Wicket. We love the Ewoks. We love the teamwork of them helping out. But I guess the Gungans were the modern day Ewoks to some extent in The Phantom Menace. So maybe I get it a little bit, but I really don't. I think those Ewoks stole all our hearts and they've never let go. Where the Gungans didn't even come close to stealing my heart. Didn't even come close. But today we're deep in, into we're diving deep into it and we're going to talk about some Gungans. And we're going to start with Jar Jar Binks. Probably the most misunderstood, and rightfully so, Gungan of all time. Just annoying in every single scene in the movies. Then he became Senator Banks, and it was just, it was too far-fetched. Too far-fetched. It jumped the shark, as uh, one might say. But we're going to take a look at his uh, figure anyways. There he is. He's got the Jedi Force file card here. You got Obi-Wan and Darth Vader up here. Part of Collection 2. He wasn't good enough for Collection 1, let's be honest. Star Wars Power of the Jedi logo up there. I do like how he's kind of... Uh, uh, posed in the package. I always think that's kind of neat as, as Jar Jar's got his tongue hanging out. So this is a gimmicky, quirky Jar Jar. This isn't just your uh, bare bones basic Jar Jar, but we got plenty of those in the Phantom Menace line. I'm dreading the day we do the unboxings. We could probably do a week of Jar Jar Binks. We might just be cruel to ourselves and just unbox Jar Jars all week long. We'll see if that goes down. But there you go. Back of the package, very similar. Uh, the Jedi Force card, we'll read that here in a second. You got the Star Wars logo with kind of the sunburst up there at the top. You got your checklist to the side, UPCs, warnings, all that down below. All right, let's get to it. Let's get Jar Jar. Look at that, just falling right off the card. He's ready to go. See you later. He's ready to get out. I don't blame him. He wants out of this package and the plastic prison. See you later. All right, let's get Jar Jar. Who's on his friend list? Who's on his enemy list? See you later. Right there. Right there. At you. Oh, there's more of those rubber bands. Just absolutely disgusting all these years. 21 years later, they're just falling apart, disintegrating. Jar Jar Banks rescued by Qui-Gon Jinn. That tells me Qui-Gon Jinn will probably be his number one friend. Uh, you know, Qui-Gon did a lot of good, but he also did a lot of suspect things. Befriended the young Jar Jar. Uh, you know, Annie and all how that turned out. I don't know. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Rescued by Qui-Gon Jinn from Trade Federation forces, Jar Jar leaves Naboo and joins the Jedi on a mission to deliver Queen Amidalia to Coruscant. An emergency due tour to Tatooine leads them to Watto's Junk Shop. There, Jar Jar's insatiable curiosity. Oh, he's just insatiable. Gets him into trouble when he accidentally activates an excitable pit droid. Well, you stick your tongue out at things. That's what happens. Uh, some of his adventures, Tusken Raider attack. On Tatooine, Jar Jar must deliver additional supplies to the Queen's Royal Starship. On the way back from Mos Espa, he narrowly escapes a Tusken Raider ambush. Oh, those Tusken Raiders. Sometimes they get it right, sometimes they get it wrong. Uh, I do need to get that Queen, Queen's Royal Starship. That's one of the biggest play sets in Star Wars history. I've been very close bidder on that on eBay. Uh, you guys know me. Got to get a deal. I'd really like to find that in a toy store somewhere. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about later this summer, I'm going to work the toy circuit out there. You guys might see me maybe at that Kane County uh, toy show out there in Illinois. Uh, there's a couple up in Minnesota, the Minnesota Toy Posse, of course, and, a, and another one up there. 
I might work the circuit a little bit. Only thing is, there's not a lot of stuff outside of new I'm looking for anymore, besides maybe that starship, uh, the Ewok village, of course, but you never know what might catch my eye. Uh, I've been just very close, very close to pulling my... Uh, Pulling the trigger on a major new collection, which I really shouldn't do. I'm talking myself out of it. I'm holding tight right now. We'll see. Getting a little long-winded here. Allies and enemies. Who's his number one ally? Anakin Skywalker. Big surprise there. We thought Qui-Gon Jinn would be number one. Nope. Number two, Obi-Wan. Number three, Padme. Number four, Captain Tarples. Qui-Gon didn't even make the top four. What are we doing here? I, I don't know anything about Star Wars, and it's obvious. So you can tell. If I thought Qui-Gon was going to be his number one friend, and he's not even in the top four, yikes. Come on, Jar Jar. Number one enemy is Tusken Raider. That seems kind of strange, doesn't it? I mean, I could see it being in the top four, but I don't know about number one. Number two, the Destroyer Droid. Three, Battle Droid. And number four, that old outlaw, Sabulba. Not Waylon Jennings, but Sabulba. He hates him. Skills? None. I'm just not even going to read it. We're going to pretend he doesn't have any skills. Jar Jar is adept with mechanical devices and pi or piloting submarines. Well, who knew that? I don't know. Get out of here. See you later. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's see what's going on with this Jar Jar. He's got his tongue way out there. Isn't that ridiculous? Just absolutely ridiculous. And then he comes with this little droid. Pull that out. See you later. Up high. Oh, almost got it. All right, Jar Jar. Well, once again, a little surprising with the articulation here. We got the legs. We got the waist. You got the head like usual. The arms go up and down, but we got shoulders we can move up and down side to side here so get into the future 2000 was the step into more articulation in some of these figures uh, obviously as we can see right here this is a little annoying as this is a moment in time jar jar banks because you can't retract his tongue i wish there was a way to pull it back and you could pull it back inside his body that would have been a good idea instead he's just stuck with his tongue hanging out that looks a little uh, suspicious a little weird a little strange if you ask me this little pit droid is what it is. It almost looks like a movie projector. I thought it was going to expand or do anything. It really doesn't do a whole lot. It, it swivels. No, it doesn't even swivel. It doesn't do anything. It's basically uh, an accessory. But I believe in the movie scene, if I remember right, wasn't he holding it up? And didn't he get his like tongue stuck in it or something? I don't know. Jar Jar is just a man of adventure, as we all know. But it's all right. I, I don't mind a little accessory like this. And this Jar Jar is good if you, you want to reenact this one scene. But what do you do? You can't just have this Jar Jar walking around and da da da. He's just guys talking, Jar Jar, why you got your tongue out all the time? And it, and it would be like super dry at this point too, especially out in Tatooine. It doesn't look like it's the coolest weather out there in Tatooine. It looks like water shortages maybe happen on Tatooine. Maybe that's just me. But you have your tongue sticking out. It's just going to dry out and it's going to flop out. Like you see those dogs all the time that lose their teeth and their tongue's hanging out. I had a chihuahua one time. His name was Buster. He was, we always talk about Lemmy being the nicest, greatest dog ever. Uh, my boy Buster back in the day. Oh, I miss him. I miss him. He died maybe two years ago. I think he was 14, 13, 14. Oh, it was sad. Buster was the friendliest dog I've ever met in my life. He never met a stranger. I take that back though. Domino, my other dog, she would jump in a car with an absolute stranger and would just be content living her life with that stranger for the rest of her life. She is the friendliest dog I've ever met. She's never met a stranger, never will. Kind of dangerous. If somebody just pulled up a van and slid that door out and said, hey, Domino, come on. She'd be gone. She'd say, Kyle, nice knowing you. I got a new friend. And she'd uh, never think uh, different of it. That's how she is. But Buster was pretty much the same. Uh, he would go on long walks with me, and we didn't need a leash for that guy. He would stay right there. Uh, I think he spoke English as his first language. That's how kind of a dog he was. He knew everything I was saying. I could just look at him. He would know what I mean. What a relationship with that little white chihuahua. Stole my heart, never let go after all these years, and I'll never forget you, Buster. I'll never forget you. But uh, I don't know how we got talking about that, but uh, anyways. An all right figure here with uh, this Gungan is what it is. Jar Jar. How many Jar Jars do you need? Usually I would say, well, I don't know. You tell me how many you're going to make. Well, I only need like two Jar Jars. I'm fine, and unfortunately I have like ten in my collection. So what am I doing? No idea. Ugh, look at these gross rubber bands. Something about these old rubber bands that break just creep me out. They look like toenails. Is what that looks like. It looks like an old yellow toenail or something like that. Or something you'd see. Like somebody's fingernails. That's what they remind me of. Maybe that's why they're so gross. Anyways, let's look at the old Gungan Warrior. One of Jar Jar's people. Now you could army build these. I would not be against buying multiples of these if I could find them at a good deal. These are the kind of things you would see at like a flea market or a toy shop or something. And you got a dollar bin of figures. And you might see some of these. And I would pick them up if they're in good condition. And they look like they would uh, be okay. I wouldn't mind to have five, six of these guys for a display. That'd be all right. What's it say? Anything good? Nothing. 
Nothing really comes with his accessories, comes with that Gungan shield and that kind of like ball on a stick, whatever that thing was called. I don't know if it's got a fancy name. Maybe it'll be in the Jedi Force file. Uh, the back, typical back. We saw it. He's part of Collection 2. Let's unbox it. Let's see what this warrior's all about here. Let's see what's doing. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. Get out of here. Don't come back. No more, no more. See you later. Oh, off the uprights. One more, another see you later. A lot of see you laters with the old power of the Jedi. A lot of cleanup for old Kyle when we're done here. Uh, what do we got here? The Atlatl. Atlatl is what this thing is called. The Atlatl. A-T-L-A-T-L. -A -A I'll never remember that. And then the energy shield, of course. We know that one. Loves the old battle wagon. Uh, battle wagon, one of the hottest garbage vehicles I've unboxed in uh, the channel's history, of course. Go back and look for the uh, Phantom Menace battle wagon unboxing. Horrible. Hot garbage. Hot as the garbage. The Gungans are an amphibious species who live in underwater cities hidden in deep lakes on the planet of Naboo. Although Gungans have a strong warrior heritage, a series of treaties has long kept them at peace with each other. During emergencies, all territories unite to form the Gungan Grand Army. Oh, gotta love it. Allies and enemies. Ally, number one, Boss Nash. You gotta be local or local? Gotta be uh, loyal. There you go. Lo local. Loyal to your king. Captain Panaka is number two. That's interesting. Queen Amidalia, number three. Qui-Gon coming in number four. Not for Jar Jar, but, but uh, the Gungan Warrior he is. His number one enemies, the Neomodians. And then OOM9, Destroyer Droids. And then, oh, that old Opie. We all boxed Opie on the channel. The Opie Sea, Kill sea Killer. Not Opie from uh, Andy's Mayberry, but just Opie. So, yeah, the Gungan Warriors, all right. We need them as uh, army builders. A little plastic prison. See what we got going on here. See, oh my gosh, he is locked in. See you later. Look at this. He's locked in with the old school. Wow, I, I never understood some of these Power of the Force figures. They spent, I swear, more money on twist ties and packaging than anywhere near what the figure would cost. And this is like those really hard twist ties to have these on these little figures that you get for three ninety nine. Just absolutely crazy. Articulation-wise, more power of the force on this one. He's got this waist, he's got the legs and arms up and down, and then you got a head. No uh, elbows, no shoulders, none of that going on. We got, of course, this. Let's see. I think this is how we'll go. I think this will do. I mean, it's all right. This is a perfect army builder. And I've said it before, I, you know, stormtroopers, when you think army builders, you think stormtroopers, you think TIE fighter pilots, you think ATAT -AT drivers, snow troopers, that kind of stuff is your army builders. But I always love it when you get good guy army builders. You get those rebel troopers, uh, you get the Tantive Four Guards, uh, the rebel troopers there, the Endor troopers, uh, and then the Gungans, uh, like this. I don't like Jar Jar, but I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. I got nothing. Obviously, now I have nothing against the Gungan people. Uh, that is becoming clear as I do this video. I just hate Jar Jar. I don't hate their people. I hate Jar Jar. So there you go. These Gungan troopers are all right. I would buy some more of these. If I could find these on card for five bucks or loose, cheap, I'd buy more of these. These would look good on display. You got like five or six of them here. You got that big battle wagon right there. You got a few other things. You can get a nice little display going. Maybe throw one Jar Jar in just for the heck of it. Because you got ten Jar Jars, you got to put them somewhere. Um, I'm okay with that. So I like this one. I actually like this one a lot. This is one of the best Power of the Jedi uh, figures I've seen so far. Really good accessories, nice colors to them. Um, not a ton of mobility with this figure. But I don't think we're, anybody's really asking for super articulation on a Gungan Warrior. At least I'm not. Uh, everything looks good though. I like this. This one, A+. Plus. A+, plus on this one. Once again, I gotta find some stands. He's gonna be tough to hold or stand with all these accessories especially, but we'll figure that out at a different time. We'll figure it out one of these days. Jar Jar, eh, eh, moment in time Jar Jar, not for me. This Gungan Warrior, all day long, make sure you pick him up. So there you go, tell me your thoughts. Do you have any of these? Hey, if you do, send them my way. I'll take them. <laughs> no, just kidding, but uh, I will. But Gungan Warrior, all right. Yeah, you tell me your thoughts. Any any plans to get these? Did you have these back in the day? Do you remember these? What are your thoughts on the Power of the Force, Power of the Jedi? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're pumping out Star Wars videos every single day in chase of that Guinness Book of World Records record. So make sure you follow along with us. Subscribe and hit the old notification bell as well. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter. Pro Wrestling Tees, search Kyle Peterson, of course, get your own uh, Kyle Peterson t-shirt, support the channel, and then uh, Instagram, almost forgot that one, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, 
uh, follow me along there. So for the Gungans, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.